in my last video I showed you how to um, download Cybot Search and Destroy. If you haven't checked out the video, what is Cybot Search and Destroy? Check that one out too. Link will be below the description of this video. So <coughs> let's boot up Cybot Search and Destroy for the first time. You should probably have it on your desktop. If not, then you can find it in the start menu. So I'm going to go ahead and click it on my desktop. Um, you may come up if you're running Windows 7 saying it could be a security risk, so you should want to open this file. Click open. And then once it's popped up, you'll get this other box that says um, this. Just click OK. I like to keep this box open so I know the steps I'm taking in order to run Spikebot Search and Destroy. Once, the first time you boot it up, you'll get this um, wizard pop up. Just keep pressing next on all of the thing and then click start using the application. The first time you run Spybot Search and Destroy, and every time you boot up Spybot Search and Destroy, you want to check if there's any um, new updates for the program. So click search for updates and choose a download place that's near to you. I'm going to hit Germany, click continue, and then these are all of the updates they have. It's up to you whether you want to install the description packs that I tend to so I know what I'm deleting. Then click download. This may take a few minutes to download. I'm going to go and pause this video for a second while this downloads. The application has finished up downloading all the updates. You can see lots of ticks on the screen. It's by what's that destroyed doesn't open up itself again. Um, boot it up and once again press open now we should be able to start getting ready to use the application once the boots up um, press ok right as we've already done the updates we don't need to update this again of course to simply click check for problems and it, this could take a fair amount of time and it will go through the list of all the things on your computer and see what it can find. So I'll get I'll let this run in the background and then I'll carry on making this video once this application has um, done its search. As you can see this green bar has now stopped and the application has found a few problems. I didn't expect to find much on my computer as this is a fresh installer Windows. But once it's finished doing the check, all you simply have to do is click fix problems. And then you press yes. It says it's fixed four problems. And then you click this icon here that says initialize. And this app this will stop um, other threats that they are aware of coming accessing your computer and also block the ones that it's found from coming back to your computer again. And then once that's finished, you just simply close the application and follow exactly the same steps for next time when you run the application. You can typically find us talking tech 24-7, 7 days a week at tech.flixio.com. You can also email me any questions you may have about computers, any problems you have, martin at flixio.com. Alternatively, you can head over to my website where yeah, there's a community forum there where many people would be glad to help you with your technical problems. Hope you enjoyed this video and until next time.